Hi viewers, uh, today in this video we are going to learn about chi-square test in statistics uh, and research methodology. So chi is an alphabet, this can also be written as like this chi-square test. So the formula is chi-square is equal to sigma summation o minus e whole square upon e here o is the observed frequency and e is the expected frequency of the given frequency distribution so very simple o minus e whole square by e now we will look at one problem and then uh, we will learn how to find this uh, how to test using this chi square test a die is rolled 100 times with the following distributions. See here the distributions number and number up and observed frequency. So here you know a die it has 6 phases. So 1 the number occurring 1 is 17 times the number occurred 2 14 times. The number 3 occurred 20 times, the number 4 occurred 17 times and number 6 occurred 15 times. So here the problem is at 1% level of significance, at 1% level of significance determine whether die is true or not. At 1% level of significance determine the die is true or not. That means in the statistics in the test we will always use 5% level of significance or 1% level of significance. So in this problem they have asked at 1% level of significance. Okay so uh, here the question is we need to test whether the die is like this only or not. If we roll the die the 1 is occurred 17 times and 2 is occurred 14 times. Is it true or not? Now we are going to test. In statistics, after doing the data analysis, we can test the results. So, for, test, for that testing, we are using chi-square test here. See here, uh, this is the total frequency. First find out n. n is total frequency. It is sum of all the observed frequencies. 17 plus 14 plus 20 plus 17 plus 17 plus 15. All the given frequencies. It is 100. Now first we will set up null hypothesis. Before solving this problem first we have to set up null hypothesis. Here hypothesis is nothing but assumption. So first we will take the null hypothesis as h0 h0 is the die is true what is there in the question we will take it as a null hypothesis so we are we are proceeding that assuming that the die is true now we will find expected frequency so how can we find expected frequency sum of the frequencies by number of observations so here sum of the frequencies are 100 and the number of observations are 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so it is 16.67 16.67 now we will uh, frame this table take the number and observed frequency and expected frequency in the table see the first column is number the second column is observed frequency third column is expected frequency fourth column is o minus e fifth column o minus e whole square okay so numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 and absolute frequency is represented with o expected frequency with e so these are all absolute frequencies from the data and expected frequency is 16.67 so for each throw of the die the expected frequency is 16.67 now o minus e 
O minus E. 17 minus 16 point 67. It is 0 0.33. And 14 minus 16 point 67. Minus 2 point 67. 20 minus 16 point 67 is 3 point 33. 17 minus 16 point 67 is 0 point 33. 17 minus 16 point 67 is 0 point 33 and so on. Now O minus C e whole square that means the square of this value is 0 0.1089. Likewise find all the squares of these values and write here. Now this is O minus C e whole square by E. That means divide this number with this number. So 0 0.1089 by 16.67 is 0 0.0065. Likewise, this 7.1289 divided by 16.67, 0 0.4276. And 11.0889 by 16.67, it is 0 0.6652. And 0 0.1089 by 16.67 is 0 0.0065. Likewise, all the values O minus E whole square by E. So now the sum of this sigma O minus E whole square by E is. 1.2796 sum of all these values is 1.2796 now we will substitute these values in the chi square formula chi square is summation o minus e whole square upon e so this is directly from the table it is 1.2796 because sum of all these values so this is the calculated value chi square calculated value is 1.2796 now this is the result from the calculation now in our question they have given at 1% level of significance what determine the die is true so one level of significance is represented with alpha so it has given that 1% 1% 1 is 1 by 100 it is 0 0.01 so uh, there are some standard tables for chi-square test. So in your uh, logarithmic table book or in the uh, back side of your uh, statistics textbook or in the internet you can find this chi-square table. So at 1% level of significance and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 are there and we will find degree of freedom degree of freedom is n minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so at 5 degree of freedom and 1 percent level of significance the chi square value from the table is 15.086 15.086 so this is from the standard table and this is the calculated value of the chi square so compare these two values the calculated value is less than the tabulated value because 1.2796 is less than 15.086 so our conclusion is since chi square calculated value is less than chi square tabulated value we will accept H0. This is the standard rule. If chi square calculated value is less than chi square tabulated value, accept H0. If it is greater than chi square tabulated value, reject H0. So, in this case, in our problem, chi square calculated value is less than chi square tabulated value, we will accept H0. Accepting H0 means what is our H0? The die is true. So accept this, the die is true. So we are accepting that the die is true. That means the given observations are true. So like this, we can test the results by using chi-square test. Thank you.